why it'd be awful after all this if the chassis were stood up, and we never let that happen. You'd be surprised how many different things are still to be done when the body's this far along. Wiring and trim and all sorts of things. And up there, they're ready. Ready to meet the chassis. Yes, sir, they've got a big date coming up. <laughs> like a big date coming up, the little lady said. And it is. It's a big rendezvous toward which all the planning, working, and the timing have been designed. And whether you've witnessed this meeting four times or 4,000 times, it's always magic. It's magic by people who can work on the same car and make it exactly the way it was ordered, even though they do their work at different times and in different places. And this is the big moment, body meeting chassis. He controls the speed of the drop. And down they come. You've got to be ready, and you've got to be there. And you've got to keep cool. It won't be long now. Guide rods to line up the body in the frame. And she's down. I've seen it more times than I care to count. And each time there's something in it that's new. And that's almost all there is to it. The things that remain don't take long. Do you know something? The odds of two identical cars, identical in type, color, and trim, and every item of equipment, moving down one of these assembly lines together are about one in six million. The end of the assembly line. We give her her first gasoline, and she's ready to take off on her own power. There's still a lot of testing to do, and there are a few things to check right here and now. As many as 190 cars may come off these lines in a single hour, and the drivers never miss their target at the roll test.